here at Boombunga Lake Viewpoint uh, in South Australia, just north of Port Wakefield, which is just north of Adelaide in Australia. And uh, I'm here to take some night sky photos. This is supposed to be a pretty dark place. Not right now, not right now, it's very nice. But it's supposed to be dark at night. Uh, and I was hoping that I could uh, catch a glimpse of the Milky Way tonight. Of course, when you come to a new place, you have to come while there's still light so you can set up the camera and you know look for a good viewpoint stuff like that uh, which means I have oh, roughly two hours of waiting for for darkness the Sun will set in I don't know 30 minutes perhaps I'm actually doing a time-lapse while I'm waiting uh, but worryingly it's getting a bit cloudy so I don't know if I can actually do any photos of the night sky or if it's just going to be photos of clouds in the dark. We'll see. Uh, right now my camera is doing a time lapse. Actually it's kind of not doing a time lapse. Uh, with the A6500 Sony camera you can tell it to which how many frames you want to take per second and then you can tell it how many frames you want to replay per second so I've got it set up so that it takes one frame per second and uh, it's gonna replay 50 frames per second because this is European camera so so it's set for 25 50 instead of 30 60 which is uh, the US standard so every minute of Real time would translate into roughly a second and a bit of uh, real replay. It's gonna be a cool time lapse uh, thing without actually doing a time lapse with all those, you know, stitching together JPEGs. It's actually filming that way, so it's cool. Uh, when that's done, when the sun's down, uh, we have maybe one hour of waiting for, for darkness. And then I'm hoping that the lake will give me a good reflection of the night sky. I don't know this, but I'm hoping that it will. If the clouds will just stay away long enough. Uh, right now there's a lot of clouds coming in from the west. And I don't know if I'll be able to see any stars at all tonight. And it's, you know hour and a half almost two hours drive back to the hotel when I'm done so hopefully I didn't drive all the way out here for nothing we'll see we'll see and um, you will see possibly eventually uh, if I make the video out of this <laughs> a lot of clouds I don't know if there's gonna be any photos taken today I don't know if you can hear me I don't know if if my time-lapse is gonna be any good because I am not sure that I set them focus right <laughs> it's gonna be exciting to see uh, so I might have driven all the way out here. Too much cloud, no astrophotography, and a very blurry 
um, time lapse video and too much wind for anyone to hear what I'm saying right now. I wouldn't say a wasted opportunity, but I didn't possibly I won't get what I was hoping for. So, uh, <clears throat> time lapse done. I uh, don't know. Uh, it looks pretty good in the camera, but don't really know what it will look like on the big screen. Uh, see that when I get back, possibly if I can get it into my iPad. It seems the the uh, slow and quick defaults to XSVCD or whatever the codec is called. Um, so, maybe I will be able to, to see it. Um, and now I'm just waiting for darkness. There's a lot of clouds, but there are breaks in the clouds. So, it could still be a pretty cool uh, night shoot out here. But it's gonna take whoa, an hour, another hour sitting in the car. Just waiting for darkness. <clears throat> right, so it is now 20 minutes to 7 o'clock. Uh, and it is dark. I can see stars through the cracks in the cloud. So I think I'm going to have get some photos. Uh, one thing that I didn't consider, uh, I picked this spot here at the Bombunga Lake because it was supposed to be a very dark place and, and you know it probably is but it is also right next to a major highway uh, well it's, it's a major highway in, in South Australia going up towards the Port Augusta from Adelaide so it's not you know. but it is still quite early 20 minutes to 7 means that there's still a lot of traffic and I thought that you know traffic would be a kind of cool backdrop to get those light streaks in the shot maybe uh, but there's a lot of traffic and they are it's really close so I don't really know if if it's gonna be any good or if it's just gonna be weird uh, when I if I try to take photos here but um, Give it another 15 minutes and then I'm going out and uh, I set myself a deadline for 7.30. At 7.30 I'm heading back home. Tomorrow is a work day. Not for the Australian people but for me. Uh, we're gonna work tomorrow so I don't want to get back too late. It's a, it's a one and a half two hour drive back so 7.30 is a good starting point I think. Um, let's see if we get anything.